Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at liars who got exposed. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. A review for a local gun range. We've been getting the run around for over two weeks, again and again, really giving us no information as to why they weren't able to give us the gun that we already paid for. Then today, called my mother and very rudely told her that she absolutely was not going to get the gun and it couldn't possibly be for her. Why? Because she's old and a woman? Your mum isn't giving you the whole story. It appears she's buying guns for her son, who, according to online court records, has a felony conviction. That's super illegal for both of them. We weren't going to post anything publicly about this, but well, here we are. There you go. You got your answer. My dog is 400 pounds and I can carry him like a baby. I would love to see you try to pick up Roxanne. 400 pound dog is impossible, love. The biggest Great Dane recorded was 165 pounds. Danes are a strong breed and not dogs to be picked up easily. <laughs> My dog is 400 pounds. <laughs> I feel bad for your dog if your dog is 400 pounds. Jeez, what you be feeding them? Your associate, Melissa, is absolutely rude and would never step foot in this place with how she represents herself, both in and outside of work. This person is not in our computer system and has never been a member of our gym and therefore cannot speak for how employees represent themselves inside of work. This person is a neighbor of our associate, Melissa, and has a personal vendetta against her. She is attempting to negatively impact her employment status by harassing her online while harming a company's reputation that she has never been to. Melissa continues to be an excellent employee and has done great things for our company. Yes, stand up for Melissa. What the heck? Why are you such a salty neighbor that you have to go to put this review? Really? You're that salty? Do something better. A friend wanted to show me their art. They blocked me after this. This took me five days. I'm so proud of how it turned out. You drew that? Yep, I'm thinking of opening up a Patreon. Whoa, that's so good. It got on the internet. <laughs> Well, amazing. I just typed it up in Google Images. Why do you even have to lie about that though? Like, what's that gonna get you? Like, you lying about drawing something when you didn't draw something? What do they want from that? It's not like they're gonna get anything from it. Like, someone's praise. But that's not even, like, a genuine praise because they didn't even draw that. So how would they be happy when someone's like, that's so pretty. When you didn't draw it, you're just lying that you drew it. How's that happy? <laughs> What's going on, people? The worst customer service ever in the planet. The service is so dirty and they charged for nothing. Plus, their dental tools are not sanitized. Very poor customer service and I would not recommend anyone. Don't waste your money and your time unless you want to get germs in your mouth. Hi, Blank. You are not our patient or in our records. Any further comments will be flagged. This has been reported to Google. Thank you. <laughs> I love how it's so simple. You're not our patient, so shut up. Bye. I adopted him two days ago. He adopted me five minutes ago. This isn't your cat. Reverse image search turned up an article from 2011. Quit lying for internet points. <gasps> Why do some people do that? Okay, be happy with like your fake little stuff. <laughs> hey, I made a drawing on my iPad. I'll share if you promise not to laugh. I don't laugh. Go on, show me. How's this? That's not yours. <laughs> I love how the answer is just, that's not yours. There's like no filter. <laughs> Why is this so common? Why would you show your friends this though? Why would you need to try to convince your friend that you're like a good drawer, you know, when you didn't draw something? What? Like, are they trying to make their friends jealous? Like, I can draw, you can't, haha. <laughs> What's the point? I just don't get these, honestly. How does that even make you happy? Claiming you could run faster than Usain Bolt when you were a child. Am I the only one who could run somewhere around 30 miles per hour when I was a kid? Nope, I'm here, I was going 27, I couldn't go faster. Usain Bolt's fastest speed is 27.78 per miles, so I call it cap clown. <laughs> I don't even know if that's what it meant cap right i call cap like no cap i need to learn my slangs why do people just tell lies like that yeah i could do it too 
I'm so special, I could do it too. That awkward moment when you remember some of your followers are related to you. Don't know who's more stupid, people who think the earth is flat or people who refuse to vaccinate their kids and risk their children's health because they believe it causes autism. How stupid was I then that I vaccinated and it caused problems that killed my daughter? Where on the stupidity scale would you put me? At a 10. Considering your daughter was 34 years old and died of asthma attack from the asthma that runs in your family. Oh, that was someone that knows her in real life? That called her out? Jeez, why would you even want to lie about your kid's death though? That's so messed up. You're really using your kid's death to just say things like this? I am equals I'm. Am doesn't exist in the English vocab. Please stop using it. Am in the English language. Am I a joke to you? <laughs> How are you going to tell someone to stop using a word when it's a word? Am I too smart for you? Hmm. LOL. Never vaccinated and never got sick. It didn't stop me from becoming a marine. LMAO. Here comes the hate comments. Quit your bullshit, buddy. The US military forces you to get every single vaccine. Marine my ass. <laughs> Mm, well then, <laughs> yeah, just stop lying. Jeez, why are you gonna lie like that? Careful who you call ugly in middle school. No one called you ugly. We went to the same school. Just post your picture and go. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's so sad. Jeez. She <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at her before picture and she looks so pretty. I, I just don't understand why she would make that post and think that she, her younger self looked ugly. I think she should have just said, you know, glow up pic, right? Instead of that caption. My parents didn't buy my car. I bet you can't steal the status. And his mum says, excuse me, we bought your first truck and paid for the insurance for a whole year. When you forget, you have your mum added on Facebook. How ungrateful do you have to be to post this thing though, you know? If your parents bought you a car, then be grateful that your parents bought you a car. Don't act like they didn't buy you a car just to feel special, you know? You're not that special if your parents didn't buy you a car. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear that, but geez, it's fine if your parents buy you a car. It's fine. They love you. It's fine. And it's also fine if you bought your own car yourself. Both are fine. Stop making each other feel bad. Oh my gosh. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.